Let's roll. This is the RC Workbench, and it is unboxing time. So, my friends at Castle Creation sent me a care package the other day with uh, two brand new items uh, from their new catalog. One of them is the Mamba X 110th scale speed control, actually 110th through 18th scale speed control, and the other one is their new 1406 censored motor, 10 scale size. It's a 7700 kV four pole brushless motor, and I'm really looking forward to trying that in a truck or in one of my RC motorcycles. Let's take a look at the motor first. Okay, um, part number 1406 line, censored, and as I said, this one's a 7700 kV. This one is going to replace one of my four and a half turn or five turn um, motors that I use in my motorcycles. So, uh, really excited to see how this looks. This is from the brand new censored line, um, and it's just coming out. Let's see, here is the quick setup sheet, central cable. Uh, this looks like some 4mm plugs, connectors, if you need to uh, add them to a different speed control. If you're not using one of the Mamba speed controls that already have the connectors built in. And here's the motor itself. Okay. It is the traditional green machined aluminum can. Look, sensor port. Nice. Uh, it comes with, what's it, 13 gauge wire. And some really long motor wires with uh, four millimeter plugs on the end. All right. It not it is not as um, doesn't have as much resistance as a uh, traditional motor, but it is a four pole motor, and it's supposed to pull pretty hard. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Let's see if there's anything else in the box. Nope, that is it. Okay, let's move on to the. Speed control. Let's put the stuff out of the way. And here is the Mamba X speed control. 110th scale. So the bottom says Mamba X is designed for use in 110th scale vehicles weighing up to 7 pounds and 1/8th scale vehicles, buggies, geared for off-road racing weighing up to 9 pounds. Okay, let's open up this puppy and see what's inside. Oh, nice. This packaging is a lot, uh, is uh, much less than its their old box, old uh, heavyweight cardboard box packaging. I think it's probably uh, cheaper and more, uh, more environmentally friendly. Okay, so here's a speed control, uh, driver's ed guide, stickers, coupon for Castle Link adapter, USB adapter, and okay, let's look at the speed control itself. So we'll have to. Un guess we'll have to remove this twisty tie so we can get it out. So some of the features, uh, one, of the, well, one of the big features is that now the BEC is supposed to be able to handle up to 8 amps, which is a lot. Um, so you should be able to handle any servo or servos that you throw at it without it browning out in the process. Okay, this is kind of stuck there. There we go. Um, from what I understand, if you remove these screws, or remove these screws right here, both the sensor harness and the wiring and uh, switch harness are all replaceable, which is a really nice touch. You just unplug them and re replace them with fresh units if you want. It has four millimeter uh, plugs built into it, which conveniently match with their new censored motor, like so. Oh, there we go. Like so. Um, it appears that you don't have the option of hard wiring, which is kind of disappointing, but uh, there's not a whole lot of loss in these plugs anyway, so it won't be, it won't be that bad, really. Uh, one thing I just noticed, this whole case is machined out of a block of aluminum and then anodized and then uh, laser etched on top of that. This is a very solid unit. And there's also quite heavy. The whole bottom max is a heat sink and there was a heat sink off of the or on top of the FETs as well with a removable fan unit. If you're running uh, one of the lower classes, 17.5, 21.5 or um, maybe even 13.5, you're probably not going to need this fan so you can should be able to just take it right off, unplug it and not worry about it. Save a little bit of weight that way. 
capacitors. Capacitors are built in. You don't need an external capacitor bank like you do with most other speed controls on the market these days. But it does have a pretty big footprint, uh, which you really, you would make up for that footprint by using a capacitor bank anyway. But uh, this is quite a solid feeling uh, ESC. Really, really, really solid. Uh, 13 gauge power wire. Um, what else? Oh, this, if you, you might have noticed this extra little port down here. So, here is the main uh, wire that goes to your speed control for channel 2 for throttle and brake. But you have this other aux wire, which lets you connect to another channel on your radio and perform different functions. Um, I haven't fully read up yet on all the features, but I, from what I understand, you can have it set things like drag brake, um, throttle frequency, um, uh, brake advance, um, you know, things like that. So uh, we'll have to take a look at the instructions and see how that works. But it's a nice feature to have to be able to adjust something on the fly with one of the unused radio channels that you have. All right, uh, this really is a beautiful, oh, I just realized that the top, no, it's plastic, okay. Uh, anyway, this is a really good looking unit. I'm looking forward to trying it in both uh, one of my 10 scale buggies and in one of my 5th scale motorcycles. Uh, I imagine that it will uh, definitely do duty in one of the motorcycles, and we'll see how it works in a buggy in the really competitive stock class. So, that's it. We have the Mamba X 110 scale speed control from Castle, and we have one of their new censored motors, the 1406 line, uh, the 7700 kV motor. It should be really hot. Um, oh, well, one more thing about the Mamba X. Um, unlike most other speed controls on the market, it supports 2S to 6S LiPo batteries. So that's a lot of power capacity that it can handle. That's 25.2 volts maximum um, that you could put through this thing. And, um, you know, they're, they make, Castle makes some pretty heavy-duty speed controls, and this one should not disappoint. Look forward to a follow-up test on this, or a follow-up uh, uh, video on this speed control. And um, thanks very much for watching. Take care.